This is Junrei, and he's the world's shortest man. At 23.62 inches in height, Junrei Balawing holds the Guinness World Record title for the smallest living man on this planet. He stopped growing at the early age of one. His age now, 26. Junrei lives in a city called Dapitan in the Mindanao region of southern Philippines. I flew down here from Manila just for a few hours so I could meet him and share his inspiring story with you. Junrei comes from a normal family with four siblings. He's the only one with this condition and doctors still don't know exactly why. Can you talk about when he was born from a young age? When did you realize that he would stop growing? Junrei's mother bore him normally, just like the normal parents bore a child. And then the moment Junrei was delivered, they noticed that it's just this size now. Mm. Just this size, just this inches. Born. He has a speech defect and has trouble standing on his own, and on top of his conditions, Junrei grew up in a poor family. His father earned $2 a day as a blacksmith, which was barely enough to feed a family of six. They used to only eat dried fish and bananas, and he couldn't afford to see any doctor until he was 8 years old. They went to the doctor at his age 8 years old with no proper sustent of money, and it's far away from the city. But then when Junrei turned 18, he was awarded this Guinness World Record certificate and that's when things for him and his family began to change. <laughs> he became a national sensation, being interviewed by every media outlet and landing him and his family a job at a local park and a new house right here at the tourism office. Nowadays, Junrei is well taken care of, getting regular checkups at the hospital and maintaining a healthier diet. Junrei and his father don't want you to feel bad for him. Despite being small and having trouble speaking, doctors say that he's able to live a long, normal life and he can do many things by himself. So before, um, his dad is going to help him eat, then the way that he dressed, but now he's doing it by himself. His favorite meal is shopao. Shopao. Yeah. Have you tasted shopao? Uh, yes. Let's get some shopao. His favorite. That's his favorite. Mm -hmm. Once he opens up to you, he has a great personality and loves being in the spotlight. <laughs> yes. He's a very happy guy, and we've been having a great time together. What kind of things make Junre happy? Mm -hmm. He valued things like seeing kids around the street playing, he's approachable, he's trying to tap his hands if everything that amazes him. But he can be stubborn when his parents try to tutor him. He wants it in his way of learning and experiencing things. Like for example, if I'm going to tell him this is letter A, but he wants it ah, like that. He wants it to be in his way. That being said, his listening skills are quite good. He understood everything from what his dad telling. Kosga, kosga. He can say hi, he can say hello, he can say Arabic dialect na mukaan ko, it means I want to eat. So that is Junre. Thank you, Junre. Na thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye Junre. High five. High five. Up here. Up here. Up here. Up here. Up here. Up here. He's going to bless. Oh, thank you. Bless Paul. Salamat. Thank you. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.